Our last step is sealing. Um, when you're ordering, I do say that the primer is optional and the squeegee is optional, but to me, your reps are not gonna last any amount of time without the sealer. Um, this to me is really key. So I do definitely recommend that you get the six foot um, sealer for every wrap that you do. Um, you can buy a whole roll of it on Amazon, but it's like, really expensive <laughs> and it's probably not a take you'll ever use again which is why I decided to just sell them in the six foot increments so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna seal the whole band and I'm gonna start up here at our um, our front plastic section this um, sealer tape is really thin which is why it sticks so well um, and you can stretch it and mold it a little bit so you're gonna do it so that it's like halfway on your decal and halfway on the plastic of the band and you pull it a little bit as you go. You want a little bit of tightness to it. As we come up here, we're going to let it fall around that curve. It's gonna hold it to that curve really well. I typically um, do mine in just a few pieces, of like one large piece around the top, one large piece around the bottom, but um, you can stop and cut it or rip it as many spots as you want. You really won't be able to tell it's so clear that you can you know, do it in as many pieces as you need to for it to be, um, for you to be able to handle it better. Okay, you really don't wanna miss any spots. I'm pulling it a little tight as I go. You see how it goes over that curve? See how the wrap is starting to lift right here. Just gonna rub those spots down and put that tape over it and it should be fine. No, I'm not. What baby? Hungry. Go get a snack. Go get Jeff. Now, I didn't come in super far here with the tape, so I will probably go back and put another little piece right there um, at the very end. Since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and do this spot. It's my least favorite, so just get it out of the way. <laughs> I suppose when you're only doing one, it's not as big of a deal. I do so many each week. Um, you're going to want to tape each one of the sides down. So, side one. Try not to cut into your wrap. That would not be good. You see, I'm turning my knife sideways and like pulling the tape against it rather than cutting onto my wrap. All right, those three sides are all sealed. I'm gonna go ahead and do my bottom where I left off.
do have a little spot in the center that's not covered, so I'm going to do its own little piece right there. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and trim up the excess. You can't just roll this over the edges, it's not going to stick to the foam. Um, so we're going to, for the most part, trim right on the edge of the band here. This bottom edge is one of the areas we trim a little different. This is one where you're gonna trim right in that seam in between the plastic and the foam. And then the other area um, are these two high peaks. You might have three on your band even. Um, when I get to the, the middle of the peak, I go back again and go between that foam and that plastic because these are some high curves and I want that um, sealer to really kind of hold it around the edge of that curve. I'm still going in that seam and then right now I'm coming back out to the edge. Same thing here, going up about midway, and then I'm gonna travel to the back here and go between that seam. Coming back up to the front. All right, and then the last area that you may or may not have to seal, it really depends on how your wrapping went. Um, unfortunately, I do have some creasing up here, and um, that signifies to me that that's going to peel up um, so I'm going to put just a little bit of sealer tape right on that one spot. I unplugged my heat. So I'm not going to heat it. Typically I would heat that again to get the crease out. Um, but how you're going to do that is you're just going to cut yourself a little piece. Sealer tape, real tiny. And slide it basically underneath that um, plastic clip as much as possible. Use your squeegee or your credit card. Get that to lay flat and then um, I'm gonna trim it um, if you do decide to cut that to trim it um, on top of the wrap cut like super soft like you're not really cutting you're literally just like dragging your knife because this tape is so thin that you'll cut right through that and into your wrap and that would be bad so um, just do that super thin okay and now your band is set to go um, if you have any sealer tape, which you should, I was using one of the six foot pieces and I have extra, I would just go ahead and keep that. If at any point you find that something pops up, um, these corners uh, do here and there um, because they're mo the most stretched. You just put a little piece of edge sealer tape right back on that same spot. Um, you can continue to clean this with the rubbing alcohol that you clean the rest of the band with. This, is the, um, this material is just like material that you see out on vehicles, so super durable. Um, you can keep it clean. Um, if you guys have any other questions, um, there is a fax, fax section um, on the website that we just uploaded um, with a bunch of questions and answers. Um, and then if anything else, just shoot me an email and I'll get back to you ASAP.